Hey everybody, Brandon Grisco here with the law firm Fasso & Vaughn, the premier law firm of Western Wayne County, serving businesses and local government entities in corporate and commercial matters, labor and employment matters, and matters concerning human resources and labor relations. I'm joined here today with Liam Carroll, the Fire Technology Program Coordinator from Schoolcraft College, and he's here to tell us about an exciting partnership between Schoolcraft College and some local high schools here in Michigan. Uh, but before we get to that, Mr. Carroll, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure. Thanks, Brandon. Uh, I've been in the fire service now for about 32 years. I started in 1988. Uh, I've been in two different fire departments. Uh, I did my career in Lincoln Park. I rose to the ranks and ultimately retired in 2014 as the fire chief. I now run the fire program here at Schoolcraft College, which means uh, I've handled everything from the uh, basic fire academies up through the degree program and then the teaching of the firefighters in between. Uh, I've been, got an associate's in fire science, a bachelor's in computer science, a master's in technology studies, and I am a big advocate of education for the fire service. Awesome. Well, Chief, thanks so much for being with us today. Uh, to get to the nuts and bolts of it, what can you tell us about this uh, program? I thought it was a new program, but uh, as we were talking about before we started recording, uh, it's actually been around for a few years. And I think it's uh, pretty exciting based on my own prior experience. So what can you tell us about that? Brandon, thank you. I love this program. It's really near and dear to my heart. It started uh, when my daughter became a dual enrolled student and we realized that the right education at the right time produces the right result. Uh, my daughter was a pre-med major and she dual enrolled in high school. And that prompted me to want to figure out a way to do this in the fire service. Historically, we've always thought that you could not be in a dual enrollment program uh, with a fire academy. Uh, after studying the, the rules and the laws that apply, I find out that there was a way to do it, as opposed to a typical dual enrollment program that is a high school college relationship. In order to get students in high school age ranges, essentially 16 and up, into our program, required that they become a firefighter or a cadet with a local fire department. At 16, you can be a cadet, and the chief or the training officer has the opportunity to send you for training. They send you to train at our academy here at Schoolcraft, and then the high school can then uh, source it as a, a place to send the money for funding, as well as uh, the credit exchange. So essentially, dual enrollment here, instead of being a two-sided relationship, is a three-sided relationship. And I'm really excited because we've got a lot of fire departments involved in this program now, and we've got a lot of uh, high schools involved in this program now. The benefits to each, the high schools get a whole new program that wasn't available to them before to offer to their students. For those who want to go into the, the fire service or even EMS, they can use the dual enrollment program here at Schoolcraft to get a head start. And when I say a head start, I'm talking about kids Young, young adults coming out of high school, fully certified to be firefighters the day they graduate from high school. We've got students who have finished the program and they are coming out of high school with Firefighter 1 and 2, which is the basic fire certification in Michigan, as well as their EMT license. And some of them have even more credit hours than that. Some of them actually have near 40 credit hours out of about a 60 credit hour degree when they come out of high school. We've had students get job offers because the other side to this, the really exciting side, is they're part of the fire department. These fire chiefs are getting a chance to look at these uh, young firefighters while they're going through the dual enrollment program to see if there's a good fit and feel between the, the fire department and the students. And some of them are getting job offers before they've actually graduated from high school because they have heavy credentials at the end of high school. And those that might not have an opportunity to hire because they don't have any openings with that particular fire department, these students can gather uh, not just the work experience that they've gotten while they're there, not just the time in the fire service, but they can get letters of recommendation from chiefs and training officers, which really carry a lot of weight in their application process if they go somewhere else. So I'm really excited, Brandon, about this program. It offers a three-sided handshake. Students get the right training at the right time, which provides the right successes. The high schools get the credit hours done. They can pay for uh, whatever works for the high school side of it. The students get a chance to work with the fire department. 
So I'm really excited about this. We've had a, a few dozen, or probably a dozen and a half or so come through the program uh, from a, uh, as many different high schools to a handful of fire departments. Everyone who goes through the program loves it. I haven't had a, a negative word about it yet. Uh, the excitement level is always there on the inbound side and the accomplishment level is there on the outbound side. And I love to see that transition from new student to successful graduating student. Well, I think that's great, Chief. Uh, just an incredible program. And the people that may be watching this that know me well know that this is an area that's near and dear to my heart as well, because I actually dual enrolled uh, in Schoolcraft College when I was a senior in high school um, and took my emergency medical technician class uh, during the second half of my senior year, uh, going to Schoolcraft at night and doing my sports and uh, high school classes and things like that during the day. And, you know, this was something that gave me the opportunity to uh, get my feet wet in the public safety arena. Um, by the end of that first summer, I was uh, pretty much a licensed emergency medical technician. And I spent the majority of uh, my, my college years, you know, while going to school, also working uh, as an EMT. And I think that just in general, that real life experience, that real world experience of being able to do that, not just take the college courses, but then also transition pretty early on into something that really could have been its own career path uh, was just an incredible experience for me. And I think that ultimately when I went on to, to get hired by the Livonia Police Department, it was probably something they looked at uh, favorably in terms of, hey, here's somebody that actually has some real world experience operating in emergency type situations. And, and I find that even, even more so than you know, being public safety experience, it's the experience of, of being out there outside of your bubble. And we are actually talking to and dealing with people that are sort of treating you like an adult. You know, and, and as a high school student, this is something that I think probably gets lost a little bit. And it may even be something, Chief, that, that you guys haven't thought about. But having been in that position, I can tell you that, you know, being treated uh, with, with somebody that's taken the kid gloves off, so to speak, and they're treating you like an adult, I think that has a really profound impact, impact on how you, how you grow and develop. Um, and it was just an incredible experience for me. So I'm really excited to be able to share this with our viewers here uh, at, at the Fossil and Bond YouTube channel. I did have a follow-up question for you, Chief. Do you, you know, I know that you know, through discussions with uh, clients of mine and in addition to you know, things that I've, I've seen out in the media and things like that, I know that uh, minority recruiting is particularly challenging for the fire service, really for all public safety, um, but that includes the fire service. Do you see this program as a way to possibly break through that barrier and maybe enhance the recruiting in, in uh, minority communities? I do. I believe what it gives fire chiefs as well as high schools uh, a better venue to educate their students or in the fire service side to recruit directly. So in a, a community that's looking for uh, minority recruiting, they have a, a tool now to help send the, the students to the right training at the right time, uh, which didn't exist before. So it, it really just adds or complements the recruiting that fire chiefs have already done. So those that are recruiting in certain areas, demographics, communities, they, they now have an additional tool at their disposal, which actually seems to fast track the program a little bit for the students. They don't have to wait for them to finish high school to become eligible for employment. So yeah, I believe it gives a, a great tool uh, that they can use across the, the gamut uh, of recruiting measures. Thanks for that, Chief. Now, if there's any uh, administrative personnel, whether at the school level, or whether at the fire department level watching this, do you have a message for them today as far as what they can do to support this program? Absolutely. What I've found is that there's a great word of mouth out there on this, and, and I rely on that. Uh, what I've been experiencing with the local high schools is once they're on board, they're forever on board. They keep signing more students and more students. So really what I would encourage is that word of mouth works. Uh, I would ask that people spread the word. Uh, if you know somebody who's a high school administrator or a high school counselor that doesn't know of this program, please send them to schoolcraft.edu's website. Uh, send them to my email, lcarroll at schoolcraft.edu. That's L-C-A-R-R-O-L-L -L at schoolcraft.edu. Uh, or my phone number here at the office is 734-462-4314. I would be happy to fully explain every facet of this program to the high school administration, school
school boards, uh, high school counselors. Uh, I've gone to city council meetings to explain the same as the, the city leaders. Uh, I've sat down with many fire chiefs. So I like the word of mouth, uh, but it's slow moving. And I, I love it when I get a new school on board, like Livonia uh, School District uh, has been on board, and now Livonia Fire Department is matching staff, and they're they're going to be able to sponsor uh, the the high schools to the program. So that's just one more example of the the, the slow growth, but the growth, and I, and I love seeing that. So I would appreciate if all the the people who see your video here, Brandon, just spread the word to people in their family and communities and churches and neighbors and their own social media. I love social media rebounds. So I'll take it anyway. Uh, they want to move it around as so long as it gets moved around. It's great for the kids. Excellent, Chief. Thanks. Well, we will be asking all of our viewers to like and share this video uh, to get the word out for Chief Carroll and for Schoolcraft College here. This program has been around for a few years. Uh, I'm just finding out about it. So uh, that goes to show you, I think, that this is a growing program. Uh, we're moving in the right direction with it, but, uh, you know, it's it's maybe not advancing quite as quickly as the chief would like here. So let's everybody jump on board. This is a great program uh, for the Schoolcraft College Fire Technology Program, and uh, let's try and help get the word out there. So for everybody that's watching, uh, I'm going to provide uh, uh, Chief Carroll's information here in a second. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to reach me here at Fosson Bond the premier Western Wayne County law firm, servicing individuals and businesses throughout Michigan. And you can reach me at 248-380-0000. Thanks for listening. Have a good one.